I don't go out with this intention to shoot photos. I go out to have an experience and I'm gonna bring my camera. So I think overall I shoot very little and just put a lot of effort into that experience or that one photo or that one moment that kind of says it all. My name is Blake Jorgensen and we are in lovely Pemberton, British Columbia. You know, Pemberton is this tiny little town. It only has, I think, 2,200 people. Kind of originally this farming community. I kind of define Pemberton as this sleepy little slow-paced town that has a lot of high energy people. All the times that I came up to Pemberton in my earlier years were always to go mountain biking. Pemberton has a early spring and a late fall, and that time where it's rainy and cold and Whistler is, Pemberton is the, is the spot. It sort of centers on these really fast, flowy trails. Perfect balance of, of dirt and rock. Epic views of this Pemberton Valley and of course Mount Curry, which is this very almost Chamonix style, Euro feeling, huge vertical wall, 8,000 feet of just wow, right in front of you. A lot of my mindset and a lot of my core ways of doing things still comes from film. This shot of here, Richie Schley, this is like something that you've probably seen like a zillion times in so many different magazines. Dusting off the archives. <laughs> Black eye. Black eye, so I take a picture of myself. My career is evenly bisected right now, half and half of film and, and digital, so I'm kind of like have this experience on both sides of the fence. This was taken when A-Line was first being made, so this is potentially one of the first photos and the first published photo probably of A-Line, you know, probably the most famous bike trail on the planet. This is a very defining moment in, in mountain biking, I think, for me, because it was just kind of the start of it all. This is the metadata. Wade Simmons. <laughs> 1999, um, Cappadocia, Turkey, Crank 3. A powerful photo is a powerful photo, whether it's 2016 or 1950, you know. This particular trail that, that I've chosen called Tower of Power, I think it's super unique because it's, it's wide open. It's got these really unique rock features. There's really nothing like in Pemberton like it. And it's, of course, it's just right, you know, square in the face of this monstrosity of Mount Curry. I think it's just a great spot to take photos. Um, originally, my shot was going to be more of the top, but I think, I think when you're actually coasting through the bottom here is where the shot's going to be. Okay, I think the shot, by watching you do that, and it's this turn down move right here. Okay! There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try one more and then we'll move on. There we go. There's this really cool expression that's always stuck with me. Be there, don't not be there. You have to create your own luck and, and your only way by doing that is to kind of be out there lots and you have to be out there with, in a positive way. I think I can get shots all over the place. So you guys just kind of let me know where you want to ride and I think I can do something different for each of you. Participation within the adventure is sort of part of the, the formula. So I think with, with mountain biking, I've always tried to, to be on my bike and be on these adventures but I do believe that there was this era in mountain biking where it really tried to break through this identity crisis of it being rad and tricks and more BMX and or is it motocross or who knows. And it was, it kind of lost this idealism of that, that it's this tool for adventure. But I don't think I ever lost that. I think I always believed in it. And I think it's now back stronger than ever. You know, I think everybody kind of gets that in mountain biking has found its identity as this tool to experience an adventure.